In this video, we will discuss Bezu's identity. Bezu's identity is a direct consequence of the Euclidean algorithm. Bezu's identity states that for all natural numbers a and b, there exists integers s and t, such that the quantity s times a plus the quantity t times b is equal to the GCD of a and b. These integers s and t are known as the cofactors of a and b. Note that the integers s and t are not unique, which means that there may be more than one pair of values for s and t that satisfy the equation. However, we will restrict ourselves to examples where the integers s and t are easy to compute, which leads us to the following theorem. Let a and b be natural numbers. If the Euclidean algorithm for computing the GCD of a and b only runs through the repeat loop twice, then Bezu's identity guarantees the solutions s equals 1 and t equals negative 1 times the quantity a div b so long as a is greater than b. For example, let's use Bezu's identity to compute the cofactors s and t for a equals 63 and b equals 14. We first need to use the Euclidean algorithm to compute the GCD of 63 and 14. The first iteration of the Euclidean algorithm loop produces the values r equals 7, a equals 14, and b equals 7, and the second run of the loop produces the values r equals 0, a equals 7, and b equals 0. Since r is equal to 0, we return the value 7, which is the GCD. So, the GCD of 63 and 14 is 7. Since the loop inside of the Euclidean algorithm only needed to run twice before it finished, we can use the theorem above to find the cofactors. The theorem guarantees us that s is equal to 1, so we only need to compute negative a div b to find the answer for t. 63 div 14 is equal to 4, so t is equal to negative 1 times 4, which is negative 4. So, we can write 1 times 63 plus negative 4 times 14 is equal to 7. Here are two examples for you to try on your own. For each example, use the Euclidean algorithm to compute the GCD, and if the algorithm terminates after two runs of the loop, use Bezu's identity to compute the cofactors s and t. For the first example, the GCD of 28 and 8 is equal to 4, and the cofactors are s equals 1 and t equals negative 3. For the second example, the GCD of 38 and 6 is equal to 2, and the cofactors are s equals 1 and t equals negative 6.